What's up mobile devs? Today we are going to unlock together the power of the Lofty package in React Native. And in order to do it, we are going to handle two different Lofty animation. The first one is this kind of astronaut animation, and the second one is this kind of add animation. So here we have full control over the add animation, and uh, instead for this kind of astronaut animation, we have uh, a kind of autoplay and loop properties enabled. So um, in order to build this example, I will provide uh, two different folders in the GitHub repository. The first one will be a starter folder with a bunch of code already written, and the second one will be the final result. So feel free to check out the GitHub repo in the video description. So uh, that said, actually, let's try to understand what actually Lofty is all about. So here I'm on the official Lofty website, and we can see that Lofty is a package designed by the Airbnb team. So Lofty is much more than a React Native package. In fact, Lofty is an iOS, Android, and React Native library that renders After Effects animation in real time. So to be honest, I have no idea on how After Effects works, but thankfully we can download any kind of animation of Lofty file on the lottyfiles.com website. So here we can find a lot of different free Lottie animations. And uh, for this tutorial, of course, I have already selected the astronaut animation and I have selected the add new animation. So uh, if you want to use this animation on the, the React Native code, you need to download the Lottie JSON file. So let's finally get our hands dirty and let's jump to the code. Here I've created a React Native project with the Expo CLI. In this tutorial, I've already added uh, some code. Basically, the purpose of this code is to build this uh, app main view right here. So uh, we can see that I've added a floating button. So here the floating button is just a uh, touchable opacity with an on-press callback. So um, the, I've binded to the on-press property the on-add the, uh, on uh, function. The onAd function has just the purpose of uh, uh, adding a new item, um, a dummy item, basically is just a zero va value to the items array. So when I when I uh, add a new item, when I tap to the floating button, I'm just adding a new item, and uh, uh, each item is just a touchable opacity with an on delete uh, uh, callback. Basically, when I tap on the item, I find that this on delete callback. This on, on delete callback has just the purpose of deleting a new item from the items array. So uh, that said, of course, I've, I will put uh, on the GitHub repo uh, a kind of uh, this exact uh, starter project. So if you want to code along with me, uh, feel free to download. Uh, the uh, GitHub, uh, uh, feel free to clone the GitHub project. Uh, uh, I will put, of course, uh, the source code in the video description. And uh, the final touch is that I've uh, added the Lotti React Native uh, um, with version 4.0.3, and I've uh, added in the assets folder the Lotti animations that I've shown uh, that I've showed you previously. So we have the uh, the add JSON file and the astronaut JSON file. So uh, that said, we can finally start uh, to build our. Uh, we, we can finally start to handle our uh, our animations. So the first animation that I want to handle is the uh, lotty empty uh, animation. So the astronaut animation. Uh, what we want to do? We want basically to handle uh, the uh, items length condition. Or we want to handle the items length equal to zero condition. Basically, when we haven't items right here, we want to display our Lotti animation. And in order to do it, let's just add here a condition. So let's say that when the items length is greater than zero, we want to show this call view. Otherwise, uh, for now, let's just uh, return a simple view. So um, this view right here will be our container view. And uh, here we, we will use uh, the Lotti view. So of course we need to import this uh, uh, component right here, and in order to import it, we just need to import Lotti view from Lotti React Native. So uh, here React Native is complaining because we need to specify the source property, 
So uh, inside this source property, we just need to specify the path of our Lottie animation. So since we want to use an astronaut uh, uh, animation, let's just specify assets Lottie astronaut uh, dot JSON. So of course, uh, uh, we are not seeing nothing, and that's because we need to specify our container style. So let's say uh, flex1, and let's uh, align items center, justify content center, and I believe, so here it is, with, uh, I just reload the, the app. So, uh, here we also need to fix the Lottie style. So here, let's say with equal to 70%. So maybe 80% is a little bit better. And uh, let's specify aspect ratio equal to one in order to have always a perfect uh, square size. And uh, let's add here margin bottom equal to 30% in order to push a little bit uh, up this kind of uh, uh, Lottie file. So uh, the final touch is just to add a text uh, component from React Native. So let's import uh, the text component right here. And I want to add just uh, the add new items uh, title with uh, a fancy icon. So uh, let's just specify the text style. Uh, let's say font size equal to uh, 25. And let's say font weight equal to 300. So uh, here we, we have our Lottie animations, but actually nothing is animating. And that's because in the Lottie component by default, uh, we have the autoplay and the loop property uh, uh, set to value uh, false. So here I'm just enabling these properties. So let's reload. And we can finally see that we are uh, finally handling uh, this kind of uh, uh, behavior. So uh, if we add a new item, we can see that uh, the item's length will be greater than zero. And therefore, we will see the scroll view uh, component with the list items. So uh, to be honest, uh, this kind of uh, component uh, is uh, uh, pretty useful inside uh, uh, the apps. So what I usually like to do is that I usually like to create a specific component that is called, for instance, animated wrapper. And uh, uh, the purpose is to handle all, all this logic right here. So all the uh, logic uh, right here with a specific component that is wrapping the Lottie behavior. So um, in order to do it, let's just create a components folder. And let's create here an animated wrapper tsx file so here i'm using the react native snippets let's specify here the animated wrapper props so what we want to uh, what we want to do here so we need to handle a children property so let's say a react react node actually uh, it will be uh, uh, it will not be an optional property here we need to handle also the show animation property. So our animated wrapper will, will just be a React functional component with animated wrapper props. Here we will specify the children, uh, here we, we will uh, import the children property and the show animation property. And uh, basically we want uh, that if the show animation property is uh, not specified or is equal to false, we want to return our children, our children property, our children uh, component. Otherwise, we want to handle the behavior with a Lottie animation. So uh, in order to see what's going on, let's just comment all this code right here. Let's copy this scroll view logic and let's import our animate wrapper right here. So basically the purpose is to handle uh, all the same logic right here with this animated proper component. So for now, of course, we are not seeing anymore the Lottie uh, animation. And that's because we need actually to handle uh, this kind of uh, behavior right here. 
So for now, let's just copy the same code that we have right here and let's return it. Uh, so here uh, we need to specify uh, the LotTView component. So let's import uh, LotTView from LotTV React Native. And uh, here we need to fix uh, uh, for a second our, uh, our path. Uh, since we are in the components folder, we need to refer to the assets with the, uh, the correct rel relative path. So for now, let's reload. So I think that uh, we uh, need to add to handle our uh, animation logic with the show animation property. So basically, if uh, the uh, show animation will be equal to false, we will display our children component. Otherwise, uh, if the show animation will be equal to true, we will handle the uh, Lottie animation right here. So uh, we want to show animation if the items length is equal to zero. Let's reload it. And we can finally see that uh, the same logic has been uh, wrapped inside this animated wrapper component. So let's get read about this code right here. And let's find uh, actually a way to reuse this animated wrapper. So basically um, the issue right now is that we are uh, the animated wrapper is uh, extremely uh, specific because we will always use the same astronaut, uh, the, the same astronaut animation. So in order to customize a little bit this animated wrapper, let's specify additional properties. So first of all, we want to specify a container uh, style. So let's say container style. It will be a view style, I believe. A style prop with the view style um, with the view style type. So let's say I believe it's a style prop from React Native. So we are importing style prop. Uh, here we need also uh, a style. Actually, we need a text style. So let's say style prop text style. And we will need a title. So uh, this will be our title. And of course, we need to handle all our Lottie view props from uh, the uh, parent component. And in order to do it, we need just to import the animated Lottie view props. So here, let's just, uh, uh, let's just take uh, the uh, container style, the text style, the title, and here, let's say the Lottie props. So uh, basically, uh, the container style will be added right here. So it will uh, override this kind of uh, styles right here. Uh, here, we need to uh, handle the text style. And uh, let's actually handle here the title. So let's say title. So we want to display the text just if uh, only if the title is uh, enabled, is provided. Otherwise, we don't want it. And here we just need to show other our Lottie props. So let's handle actually these uh, uh, properties from here. Uh, we want just to use the container, uh, the default container style, the default text style. We just need to provide the title. So I've copied it before and we need to provide our Lottie properties. So let's provide our source property. And uh, here, let's say, uh, let's actually import also the style property. And let's handle here the style property. So uh, these properties will be our default uh, Lottie view properties. And uh, we need to add just the source property right here by fixing the relative path. So I know uh, that it was a little bit too fast, but uh, basically what we have done is extremely uh, easy. Basically, uh, we have just find a way to reuse our previous logic. And whenever we want to handle a kind of uh, uh, empty placeholder uh, pattern inside our uh, app, 
we can just refer to our animated wrapper and we can specify our style, uh, our title and our Lottie uh, source um, uh, path. So uh, in that way, we have finally handled our animated wrapper uh, component. So our astronaut, uh, our astronaut uh, uh, animation. So what we want to do right now, right now we want to we want to deal with uh, our add uh, Lottie animation. And in order to deal with it, we just need to wrap inside our touchable opacity uh, component a new Lottie view. So this Lottie view will have a source with a specific pattern. This pattern will be specified as assets slash Lottie slash add. So here it is. So uh, what we what we want to do? Uh, let's uh, just uh, uh, let's just specify style equal to uh, flex one. Uh, we want uh, also to handle, uh, of course, the um, the Lottie animation. But for now, we cannot uh, simply use autoplay and loop. Otherwise, it will work, but it will not work uh, as we we are expecting. So here we can see that, uh, of course, the animation is working with the autoplay and loop, but we want to handle this animation right here uh, just uh, whenever we, we tap on the touchable opacity. In order to do it, we need to set uh, a new reference to this uh, touchable opacity right here. So we need to handle the ref property. In order to do it, let's just create a lot of ref. Uh, let's actually call button ref. It will uh, uh, use the use ref hook from React, and let's just bind this button ref to our lot view. So what we want to do is uh, that whenever we tap, whenever the on add callback is called, we want to run uh, the animation by uh, handling the animation with the button ref, uh, uh, the button reference. So in order to do it, let's just say, uh, let's uh, just specify button ref current, and here we can say, I believe. Uh, uh, so of course we need to add our fancy TypeScript uh, type. So here let's say button ref dot current dot play. So basically, we want to run our Lottie animation, and with the play uh, with the play animation with the play function, we can handle the initial frame, the start frame, and the end frame of the animation. So from the website Lottie Files, when we downloaded the animation, we saw that uh, the add uh, animation has uh, 75 frames. Therefore, we want to uh, animate uh, the animation from the start frame to our end frame. Our end frame will be 75. So let's actually see if that is working and we can see that uh, the animation is working perfectly so uh, basically uh, in my opinion this animation is a little bit too slow so in order to improve uh, the speed let's just see uh, let's just uh, uh, increase the speed uh, three times by three times so we can see that the animation is working almost fine so here uh, I notice uh, I've noticed a strange behavior. Basically, when we tap on the button, uh, the autoplay and the loop property are enabled because uh, we we run the uh, play animation right here. So we need to disable this autoplay and the loop property. So let's see. So we we can see that everything seems to work fine, but. Uh, it is a little bit better to reset every time the animation before running it uh, on the on add callback. So let's say button ref current reset. So we can see finally that uh, the animation is working perfectly. So I hope that uh, this tutorial was clear and uh, thanks a lot for staying with me all that time. If you like this kind of content, remember to leave a like and uh, subscribe to the, to the channel.